Tom, Dan and John here at Sharpening Supplies and today we're doing another three ways to sharpen video and John you've brought in something for us to sharpen today. What is it? I brought in the Falco number no. two. It's a quality Swiss made pruner. It's meant to last a lifetime and it's meant to be sharpened and maintained. This particular one I received from my neighbor. Uh, she was having trouble cutting and uh, she knew what we do and so she asked me to sharpen it. Basically, uh, my reputation in the neighborhood is on the line, so <laughs> I need you guys to pick out some good sharpeners. Oh, excellent, okay, so no pressure. I assume you've picked out a sharpening product already? I have. Okay, great, I have. so I think Dan and I, we will head out into the warehouse and we will try and find some products we think will be good for sharpening that pair of succoteurs. Or even pruners. Pruners. Okay. So, John, what did you pick to sharpen the Falco number no. two pruner? I picked the DMT diamond flat file. It's uh, really easy to use, and the main reason I really like it for the pruner is that the flat file makes it super easy to get into this into this area between the jaws here. And so Falco recommends a 23 degree angle. So the easiest way to do that is just basically get your 45 and then take half of that. Now that's the angle that you're gonna sharpen at. So what I do is I sharpen the bevel side until I get a, a burr on the back side. You'll just kind of feel it on the back here. And then on the back side, you simply lay this flat, lift it up just a little bit so you're focusing your effort on the edge and you're basically just gonna remove that burr from the back side. Why wouldn't you just like lay it flat? So when you lay it flat, I have to basically sharpen this entire, this entire area and that's gonna take a really long time. Right. Yeah, just simply lay it, lay it flat, lift it up a little bit. Falco does recommend five degrees. I think the, the point is a very, very low angle to just focus on, on the edge. That was the, that was the course I used first. This is, the, this is the fine, and I'm gonna basically do the exact same thing. I'm going to sharpen um, the bevel side and then do the back side. And that's going to get it, that's gonna get it nice and sharp. Excellent. So Dan, you've got another DMT product, but quite a different one. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. So I was thinking a lot like John, was uh, going for something practical that would get in the jaws of, of the pruner. Um, had a couple other considerations. I was looking for something that would be small as possible, portable, uh, easy to fit in your pocket when you're out using the pruner. And uh, also I just went for as thin as possible uh, to get in as tight an area as we can. So I went with the DMT card size sharpeners, literally the size and shape of a credit card. Uh, the set comes with three grits, a coarse, a fine, and an extra fine. Probably don't need to go to the extra fine, but uh, if you like to be really thorough, it's there. But as you can see, it would fit in here, and the technique would be very much like John did. Excellent. Right, so I went with the uh, Nanawa Gukan water stones. I went with them because I quite like sharpening with water stones. I like the way that it feels. These do need a bit more forethought compared to the diamond stones because they're soakers. You need to put them in water until they're saturated. Like your cards, there are three different grits. We've got 220 grit, 1,000 and 3,000. 3,000 might seem a bit excessive, but if you're grafting, you want a really clean cut. So it might be nice to sometimes go all the way up to that, but 220 and 1,000 are a nice uh, couple to have. A lot like your options, we've got this flat where you can quite easily fit in there. It's a lot chunkier than your uh, options, but you've still got enough room to get in there and sharpen. What I really like about these though, is that you've got a convex on this side, and then you've got a concave on the bottom here. And this concave, fits the curve of the blade really nicely. So that means you've got more of the blade in contact with the stone at one time. So hopefully a little bit faster sharpening. 
The convex on this side is nice if you've got some like pruning knives that have a curve in the opposite direction so you can get in there. So these are quite a versatile garden sharpening tool. So that's why I went with the Nanawa Gukan Waterstones. So do you have a pair of Felco number two pruners? If so, what do you use to sharpen them? If you don't have anything to sharpen them, which one of these is your favorite product? Let us know in the comments. If you would like to get any of these products or more, you can visit us at sharpeningsupplies.com.